This is what's wrong with the world. People are mean, right? People are just mean and rude. Yes, they are. That's what's wrong with the world. That's what's going on in this country. There's more than that going on in the country, but we won't get into that right now. Uh, all right, I'm gonna give you guys a little update today. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Man, it has been a rough day today. I was gonna start working on um, the new pen for the peacocks and I am lucky to be walking around today. I, I woke up about 4 a.m. I never talked about this, but I have an old back injury from uh, the military time and um, it bothers me daily, but today has just been a really bad day. Like it hurt so bad this morning I was almost, I almost woke Brandy up and said, I might, might have to go to urgent care or um, see if I can get a doctor's appointment to get, I don't know, like a shot or something because it was hurt. I couldn't even stand up and hardly walk. It was hurting so bad. Um, so yeah, but I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm able to walk around. I want to go out and stretch it out. And um, it's, just been, it's just been one of them days where it hurts. Uh, so anyways, I want to make a video for you guys, give you an update on the pen today. That was my plan was to start setting it all up, setting poles and all that. Ain't happening, not happening today. Hopefully I feel better tomorrow. I think it's just a strained muscle, I don't know. Um, hopefully it's not something more serious. I don't think it is or I wouldn't be walking as good as I am right now, but it's been a crazy day. So let's walk over here. I heard some ruckus a minute ago on the chickens. I haven't seen the India runner ducks is what you guys call them, Indian runner ducks. I've not seen them today. So where are they? Oh. Where'd you guys go? What's up, Gunner? You want out, Gunner? You want out? You want out? So Brandy's gonna be posting a video pretty soon, I think, on Gunner. It's kind of like Houdini. You want out for a little bit? Oh, there's the ducks. Are you gonna leave the ducks alone, Gunner, if I let you out? Mm, you gonna leave them alone? You just wanna play, don't you? You just wanna play. All right, come on. You can go back in for me later easily. I don't know if I should deal with you with my back. Come on. Come on. He's like, you're letting me out. All right, let's do this. Oh. We'll let him run around for a little while. Pearl, it ain't dinner time yet, is it? Gunner, you want to walk out there with me and check on the other pigs? I want to, sh I want to check on these ducks, too, because I heard some ruckus big time. What are you two doing? Huh? What are you two doing? Just hanging out. Gunner. Gunner. Come here, boy. Come here, Gunner. They want to see you. Oh, there's your friends. <laughs> Where's Gabby? Gabby. What are you two doing? He just loves to play with them. Gracie's like, I don't want none right now. It's too hot for that. It's too hot for that, huh, Gunner? It's too hot for that. Brandy's going to talk about you. Yes, she is. Gabby, what'd you find? I know she got a snake or something over here. Since we got back from vacation, I haven't got to pull the weed eater out. I got, I brought them over back, um, but I need to weed eat and mow big time out here. Um, it's just been one thing after another. What'd you got? Oh, uh, you found an egg. I see what you're doing over here. They laid an egg in the well house. What'd you do? Did you find a nest? That's where the eggs are at. No, you leave them alone. You know right where they're at. Get out of here. Get out of here. So we've been keeping the alpha alpha in here and uh, looks to me like they found the egg nest. There's chicken coming in here and laying. You two just love the eggs. Okay, you can go get them, I don't care. Go get them. Go get them if you want them. She's gonna get them. Get them, Gabby, get them. Gabby, oh, let's give Gunner one. Gabby and Gracie finding eggs or getting the peat, whatever. Some of you guys just give us a hard time about that. And uh, I really don't understand that. Okay. I don't know how old these eggs are. So here, Gracie. Since Gabby already got one. Since Gabby got one. Here, you can have one. Some of you guys are like, don't waste those eggs on those pigs and the gunner and those dogs. You're teaching them bad habits. I'm perfectly fine with the dogs finding random eggs like that. Gunner. I don't know where Gunner went now. Come here, Gunner. Come here, Gun. Oh, he's way up, by, way up there by the house. Come here, Gunner. Doesn't give him an egg. No, Gabby, you already got one. Or two or three. Gunner. I don't know what he's doing. Let's go find him, then we'll check on the chickens. I'm gonna walk out here and look at the 
pigs. I think they have pushed their water over and they're pushing their shelter up against that fence. So I gotta go fix it. As the more I walk, the more my back stretches out. It's starting to feel a little bit better. Gunner! Come here, Gunner! Lily, these eggs are as big as you. Now I don't know what Gunner has got into. So I wanted to talk to you guys too about what is wrong with some of you people? What is wrong with the world? Uh, as doing YouTube for over 10 years, and we've, I think we got like 1,800 videos out just on this channel. We get some of the wildest and craziest comments, and I was going through some earlier. Gunner, where'd he go? I was going through some earlier, and something I'll put up on screen. I don't know the guy's name, but he said, you know, I just don't think I don't like you. I said, well, that was awful nice of you to say. Um, it's just, what is wrong with some of you guys? If you don't like someone, just move forward. How many times, in, he's taking a big old deuce over there. You came all the way over here to poop by my truck. How many times in y'all's life have you guys told someone, you know what, I just don't like you. Some of you probably several times, I guess. I've never told anyone that before. And um, I'm sure most of you guys probably haven't either, regardless if you like the person or not. What's funny to me is as soon as someone gets behind a keyboard, they become their true self, you might say. You might say they become tough, but it's their true self. That's, that's because there's no consequences behind that. Someone, there could be, could be anyone out there leaving that comment. It could be uh, Brandy in the bedroom <laughs> writing that. You just don't know, so you never know who it is. So I have, I've got a thick skin past, over the past years that I don't let that stuff bother me, but I just wanted to bring it up as like, what is wrong with people? That's, that's, that's what's wrong with the world. Some people are just evil, some people are just mean, some people are just rude, and just not nice people. So you just can't let them people bother you. Come here, come here, Gunner, gotta come. Come here, come here, sit. Hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, you let it break, you better get it before they do. You better get it before they do, nuh -uh. Gunner is a typical livestock guardian dog. He does not like when people mess with his food. You better not do that, he's gonna get you. Uh-uh, he'll get you. Gabby, get Gabby, that's his. They love eggs and uh, yeah, Gunner. That's the one thing um, that Gunner does not stand for. And you, if you guys notice, I know I got friends that have livestock garden dogs. When it comes to food, you just don't, you don't get in between them and food. And that comes with little snacks like that. So I try to keep Gabby and Gracie away like that whenever we do give them little treats and stuff. Cause you just don't ever know. Let's go out here and check on these pigs. But yeah, anyways, go back to those comments. Like that's not even, a, that's, that's like not even a bad, bad comment. We've got death threats. We've got, I mean, tons. We've had people give our address out before and tell people to give us a visit. Like we've dealt with a lot over the years. So that little comment's nothing, but I kind of just wanted to bring it up and with what's going on right now in the world, in our country, our own country, with everything that's going on. And then you get people like that. I just don't think, I don't like you. Okay, <laughs> move along. I probably don't like you either. <laughs> no, but. Yeah, just don't let people get you guys down. If you're in a bad mood uh, and you don't want to be around someone, distance yourself. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to bring that up. Something just stepped on my. Just, what the heck is that? Okay, anyway, so let's go over here. Come here, Gunner. Come here, Gunner. I got all the dogs out here today. Come on. Come on, Gunner. Come on. He's getting big, isn't he? Gunner's getting big. So are these pigs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and feed them, get them occupied while I get the water out and uh, fix the shelter and fix our water. Ah, it's becoming a mess. I still haven't put the platform up here like I want. That's gonna have to be before I try to load them up. Yeah, it's still, look how big they're getting. Oh, you know it's gonna shock you every time you touch it. You know this. All right, let's give you a little bit of food. And I'm gonna give you one of these buckets. Cause anytime I get in there to try to get their their uh, feed feeder little feeder trough thing over there, they want to get me. You're gonna get shocked. Yep. You can have some early dinner. Tell you what, the price of everything has went up. Everyone talks about inflation because it's real. It's like the worst inflation I've ever seen in my life. But I'll just give you guys an example. We've been raising 
We've been raising feeder pigs, I don't know, seven, eight, nine years. And I remember when I first started getting into this, I was like, man, you know, this isn't that expensive to raise um, hogs, pigs, and raise them for other families. And um, just, you know, it wasn't very expensive. I remember a bag, a 50 pound bag of feed, same feed I got right now was $5.50. And um, back then, I mean, that wasn't what, seven, eight, nine years. Um, people would say, man, that, that's high. So it went up since then, but that bag I just put in there is 50 pounds and it cost me 1350. So over the last seven to nine years, it's went increased $8, $8, wait, wait, more than that, $8 a bag. Is that not wild? Inflation's real all the way around. So, so what used to be relatively inexpensive is now almost tripled um, what it cost. So it's kind of pretty crazy, really. Man, they've got this all worked over. This isn't the most ideal setup. They got fresh water in there still too, but they, they just like to get on here and um, rub on it and do all that stuff. All right, let me get this all fixed real quick. They do this about once a week. And it's, it's my fault. I need a better setup, better tree, something. But the hose reaches all the way over here, so on that aspect of things it's convenient and they're so big now before i just had it set up on a like a four by four six by six and they wouldn't push it over but they've got bigger and stronger and they push everything over now so randy took carpenter took care of the pigs and stuff while we're gone he said it got knocked over like this and he put a bunch of logs behind it to try to help keep it steady but i'm gonna try to do something a little different here. That feels sturdier. Okay, let's get the water hose. But they pushed this. Oh, look at this, guys. They pushed it all the way up. Well, now there's a gap right here. They can get their nose up underneath that and push out, they're gone. Which I, th I think with these pigs, they would probably stick around for a minute because this is where their food and water is at. I'm gonna push it up over here. And it's just them rooting, pushing. Moves this. A couple T posts probably wouldn't hurt. Look at this though. I have yet to have them get out of this, but they can definitely, well, let me show you a little better. They can definitely walk over that. So let me go shut it off and then get the water hose and then work on that. Now they're pushing that up there. You guys are giving me fits today. I'll just do that. Okay. See if we can't get this fixed. See how they got all that ro rooted up right up against it? That's the only thing about this. You have to, well, you have to keep an eye on it. All right, I think we're in business. I'm gonna turn it back on. There's Gunner. Gunner, I was wondering where you went. There you are. He's a good dog. Boy, he gets after them coyotes too, I'll tell you what. He, when he, they start howling every night, he goes crazy. I went and touched that Gunner. Get back, boy, get back, it's gonna get you. Get back, Gunner. It's going to get you. I'm telling you. You can jump over that, but I don't want you to. No, Gunner. Why would you get in here with the pigs? <laughs> I should have never brought you out here, boy. Why would you get in here with the pigs? Huh? You want to hang out with them today? You see Pearl and Percy every single day. What are you doing? Just new smells for you? You don't ever come out here as far as I know. You're gonna get in their little mud hole. Huh? Come on. Come on, Gunner. Stay out of there. Go through here. Watch out for copperheads, that's for sure. Golly. Let's fill this back up. And um, I think what the pigs will be good for today.
Okay. Oh, I'm liking that better. You guys about eat all that already? Huh? Quit pushing your shelter, please. Will you please quit pushing your shelter? Can you guys believe how big they're getting? Yeah, so with inflation, the cost of everything has gone up. And um, I know the families that are getting these pigs are going to be very thankful. They are every year. We love doing this. And um, we, they offer to help pay for feed and stuff. And this is, this is we, I like to do this for them. So they don't, they can have some meat in the freezer and they know where it came from. They know what it's getting fed. And um, yeah, so I'm happy to do it. But I just want to give you guys a little comparison. When we first started doing this, it was five fifty a bag. Now thirteen fifty a bag. It's pretty crazy. You know, that's for the hog feed. We can feed them cheaper with scraps. We give them scraps and stuff. And um, there's ways to feed them cheaper. I know that. But we, I've always just like graining them out. Are you thirsty now? Huh? Uh, my friend Ronnie with a few, I was telling him how we raised some pigs and you know, I was telling him about the feed and stuff. He goes, my gosh, I want some of the pigs that you raise. You raise them on just grain. Um, they always just give them scraps and everything. Anything they, could, they can get their hands on that's cheap, free, whatever, which makes sense, right? Uh, but this is the way I've always done it and the meat's always good, so. What? What? You want more? You were used to the automatic feeder there for a while, wasn't you? But you can see just by, I'm saving money, but I've always done this. I've always de de done an automatic feeder, right? And, um, and I'll, pr I'll probably end up going back to it. But since I've went away from it with these particular pigs, um, I have saved on feed um, because they're just not overeating. But you can see how, gr how much they're growing still, even with the amount of feed I'm giving them. So what I do is I was giving them four scoops in the morning four scoops at night so i think i bumped or i think i was doing three and three now i'm doing four and four so i have bumped it up as they got bigger i'm not sure how much one scoop weighs but you can see they're not hurting at all gabby and grace are just up there waiting on me i'll be up there in a minute let me finish filling this water up well they're doing good they're thirsty now that one was just laying in there i bet she's every bit of 225 or more and the other one's probably 20 or 30 pounds less you can get in there i think this one might be in heat she looks swollen back there does that feel good if you'll turn around i'll show them are you in heat we're gonna have some wild hogs up here soon all right well you don't want you don't want, you're embarrassed see her eye her eyes been like that too since she was born man you're loving that hey go over there and play go play in the mud see look she's swollen back Ugh. okay whatever you're embarrassed i know you want some of this huh see i think she's in heat maybe Gabby, where's your brother? Gracie, where's your brother? I heard her dog barking over here. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there by the chickens. Let's go make sure he ain't harassing them. That is one thing about puppies. Now he's, he's a year old now. The puppy stage, whenever you're trying to raise, Gabby and Gracie both did it. Even Lily's done it. They, and Gunner, now Gunner's over there chasing them, I think. And um, he likes to play with the chickens. And he's actually got one or two that got in the pen before. We just got to watch him. So we try our best to keep him out of there. I don't know what he's doing right now. Gunner! Oh, he's over there marking his territory and everything. Let me check on these chickens on the coop real quick. That's what I initially came over here for. Because uh, some of them are going crazy. What are you doing? What are you doing, goofball? You leave them chickens alone. Come on. Come on. They're all underneath there now. I was really wanting to have all my posts set today and then tomorrow start framing it up, but it just wasn't happening. Let's look over here for a minute. It's all the ruckus in here and they start laying on the ground. I better close this up. Gabby and Grace will come in there and get the girls been checking every day on the ground. 
and I'm about over broody hands. I'll tell you guys that. I'm about over broody hands. Let's see. Here, Gunner. There. Yep, there's two of them in there. And it's the same two. We're going to have to break you. There's only one way I know how to break you. Whoa, you're being hateful. You're being hateful. And that is to get rid of the eggs and put you guys in the pen for about three or four days. Is that what you want? Huh? Ooh, ooh. See, that one's rotten. Sorry, Gunner. That one scared him. Gunner. Whew. That's why I don't like them broody hens. They get nasty. Gunner, I didn't mean to scare you. You don't want that egg, Gabby. I promise you that. Yeah. Gracie, I don't know. Oh, when we were on vacation, we had a lot of eggs that were in the house, and we just didn't want to, <clears throat> we didn't want to chance it with them because they're on the counter. And we gave a bunch to the pigs, I think. Maybe some to Gunner. I smell the egg from over here. And some of y'all got upset saying that we should have donated them to the church. We should have gave those to families. When we give them to, yeah, we give them to the pigs out there. That's just food for our pigs that are going to church family. I think most of you guys had good intentions though. So let's go over here real quick. What are y'all doing? Okay, I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone. So stay tuned for Brandy. I think Brandy's next video. Next video. It has to do with Gunner. And um, it's an interesting one. So I think I'm going to go in and rest my back. And hopefully I pray tomorrow it feels better. And um, I can get that pin get up and going. Up and going. Hope, hope tomorrow I can get it up and going. And um, yeah, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. I want, I want to make a video for you guys. Just give me a little update on what's going on. And um, kind of just go from there. Huh, Pearl? Huh, Percy? You, every time they see me, you all just want something to eat. You just want something to eat. I know. But, yeah. Anyways, keep your hateful comments to yourself. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Love you guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. If you didn't subscribe, please subscribe. And if you didn't smash that like button, please smash it. It helps us out of town. You guys like the video. So, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.